first of all check these settings such as volume levels, make sure that it's not muted or something. Then check the default playback speakers, check whether the right one is selected or not. If you are using the older version of Windows, you may not see those settings. Follow this alternate procedure in order to check what I just said. Now if everything is fine from that end, then you might wanna try troubleshooting. Go to the search bar and type in troubleshoot there, then open it up. You can also open it by right clicking on the audio icon. Now click on playing audio and run the troubleshooter. Once it gets started, it'll do the rest. If there will be any misconfiguration, it'll just fix that. Once it's done troubleshooting, restart the PC. Your issue will most probably get fixed. If it still doesn't, then try this one. Go to the search bar, then type in services. The service window will pop up, then you need to find Windows Audio. Once you find it, click on that and just restart the service. Do the same with Windows Audio Endpoint Builder also. Now right click on Windows Audio, then go to properties and check whether the startup type is set to automatic or not. If it isn't, then make sure that it's set just to automatic. Restart the service once again by clicking on the stop button. And then you'll see an error on the audio icon, click on it and it'll automatically fix the issue. Which is due to the audio service that we just stopped. Now select the option according to your default device, then proceed. All the audio related problem has now been fixed. As you can see that, it has also started the service that we wanted to restart. The reason behind was just simple. Instead of doing it directly, sometimes the troubleshooter happens to be more effective. The audio should now work fine, but if everything was already okay from that end, then you might wanna try the next method. Right click on the windows icon, then click on device manager, a window will pop up. Now here click on the little arrow at the left of the sound video and game controllers. Now look for your default audio playback device, then right click on it and click on update driver. Click on search automatically for updated driver software. It should find the right driver for your audio device if it's the driver that was not already installed. Once the driver is updated, be sure to restart your PC. But if it still says that the best driver for your device is already installed, then you need to try this. Open device manager, right click on your default audio playback device, then go to properties and check whether the device is working properly. Either way, go to the second tab, then click on update driver, then go to browse my computer for driver software, then click on this option. Then select the driver package that matches with your default playback device's name. Now wait until the driver installs. Once it's done, restart your PC. There's a huge chance that your issue will now finally get fixed. But if it still doesn't, then let's try the next one. Open device manager. Go to your default audio device, right click on it, then disable.
and re-enable it. Now before performing the next task that I'm gonna do, you need to make sure that you have a backup of your audio driver already. If you don't, then first download it from the internet and then only proceed. Select the right audio device. Now what we are going to do is that first we'll uninstall the audio device. After that you won't see your default audio device anymore. Now before you start writing those hate comments, you broke my audio, you suck, I'm gonna dislike this video, hold on for a sec, go to action, then click on scan for hardware changes, once you do that, wait for a few seconds and, and the device that we just uninstalled will come back again. Isn't that magic? But if it did not, then no need to worry. Now the newly installed audio device is completely fresh and will work as good as it was never broken. Your issue is pretty much solved. Then open device manager, then go to action and click on add hardware, click on next, choose the first one, click on sound video and game controllers, then click on your device's name, like mine was Realtek, then click on next, wait until the driver get installed. Once it's done, it's all good. Restart the PC, your audio will surely be back. If you got stuck during any of the procedure and still can't hear the sound, well, now you'd need to download the latest driver from your respective manufacturer's website. To do that, open Google, then search for Realtek driver download because I guess most of the PC these days uses Realtek audio device. So just download the latest driver from their website and install it you're done. But if your device is from some other manufacturer, then type in the name of your audio device or the manufacturer, write download before the name of the device and add driver at the end. It should look something like this. Download the driver from the respective website, then run the setup and restart the PC your audio should be back. Fun fact, I broke my audio during the making of this video. Just make sure that this video is worth breaking down my audio. Share this video with your friends in case if they wanna break their audio device and then fix it.